I'd like to address some issues regarding lag time. If you think Layton and his police force aren't involved in this auto theft ring, wait until you hear this. First, why are cars not legally abandoned? Why cars are not legally abandoned on Lag's lot? Pennsylvania defines abandonment as a vehicle remaining on private property without the consent of the property owner for more than 24 hours. Cars on Lag's lot are not abandoned because they were towed by the property owner himself. And Blazek tows the cars, he obviously is consenting to have them there. Blazek defines abandonment to be anyone who can't afford his price gouging. This is not abandonment, this is called theft. The state's definition of abandonment goes on to say that it involves a vehicle's owner intention to abandon. Who has their car towed with the intent of giving it up to Leo Glazek? Nobody. They are willing participants to lax pressure, extortion, illegal prices, and ultimately theft. Let me address extortion. I will tell you the story of a 66-year-old man on $900 a month Social Security who had his car towed September 25th, just one month ago. He was forced to pay lag 100 and give up the title to his car just, just so he could get his belongings. Don't think for a minute that all the publicity surrounding Glossick has chastened, chastened him. Though I am not a doctor, I believe he fits the profile of a sociopath, one who does not see others around him as people, but only as targets and opportunities, as one who cannot empathize with the pain of others. One attribute I found most interesting was it describes a sociopath as one who, charges, as one who changes their image as needed to avoid pro prosecution. And we've all been witnesses dog and pony, pony show the past couple of months. The police serve as a gateway for closet to take illegal possession of cars. If the police who declare cars to be abandoned, excuse me, it is the police who declare cars to be abandoned as they lie to the state. <coughs> Abandonment is a precursor to a, to a salvage title, which enables Glazik to dispose of vehicles. Most importantly, PA Code 7305 states that the police department, upon receipt of an abandoned vehicle info report from LAG, shall notify certified mail return receipt requested the last known registered owner of the vehicle. In a right to know, I requested these certified letters and or the return receipts. I was not given one. What does this mean? It means that every car that has been declared abandoned has been taken illegally. The statute calls it unlawful taking. This is a nice way of saying the car has been stolen. Yet Glodzik doubles down. He takes both the cars and the contents within. <coughs> How serious is this? By systematically violating statutes 3921 and 3934, which is theft of a car and theft of contents, uh, the felony count is well into the hundreds. And this doesn't count the conspiracy charges and act of collusion that took place. Poor people have been targeted. This is a calamity close, but maybe not quite on par with cars, kids for cash. I've tried to help some victims. This is one of the most despicable scams I've ever been a witness to. Is stealing a car through corruption, signature, signatures, and paper any less severe than a thug stealing one from the street? I think not. Besides logic, Layton is most culpable. The police force is his responsibility. He is the aider and the better. He is the one that tells the cops that everything is civil. <clears throat> he has shown his hand. He has formed a kangaroo committee that is laughable in terms of its bias. He will do anything to protect logic, even carrying out actions, actions that make him look like a buffoon. He is a desperate man taking desperate and embarrassing actions to protect his skin. His culpability is as clear as the noonday sun. His minions are guilty, but the orders have come from the top. It is time for justice to be served. <coughs> the damage has been catastrophic. People need to pay. And the last thing I want to say is there was a victim, you know, Dolores Gibson. Well, I don't know if this is coincidence, but I'll tell you what, what's happened in the last couple months. Well, actually, in the last couple weeks. Her son was handcuffed from his home, taken to a magistrate <coughs> crown hour on phantom charges. There was no complaint. Two days ago, Dolores Gibson, while driving, had her back window. Thirty seconds was driving. Had her back window smashed with a brick. Yesterday, her tires were slashed. I don't think this is all a coincidence. And I look at you, and I look at you as the culprits. Thank you.